Hey, welcome back, everyone. Here's some more Age of Empires. And uh, we're still learning what we can about the Chinese. Uh, we're trying out all these matchups. Uh, we're playing against the Rus here. Uh, Strong Jaw Ale's my opponent. They're playing as the Rus, so we've got to hunt down all these uh, these deer here. we got to grab up these sheep while we can. Roos will get bonus gold from killing wolves, sheep, deer, so we're going to hunt down as much as we can. Getting a few good shots here. Oh, but here comes my opponent's scout. Oh, he's found some of the deer himself. Oh, and he snipes that one before I'm able to. But now that I have my two scouts here, we can target down the same deer together. Yeah, he can't do anything about that. Looks like we're heading over to gold. Looks like I had an extra villager rally to food. And now, we're yeah, we got to stay active out here. We're looking for sheep. We're looking for wolves. Yep, we'll take on wolves. Ideally, you lead these wolves back to your town center to let the town center kill them off. But if we find the occasional one, we can just hunt it with our scout. And, okay, looks like he's already hunt these deer over here. Oh, but we're getting good sheep here. Nice. Sheep are great for the Chinese. You really want to make this first mill a just powerhouse of food production and uh, tax generation. So if we can put a bunch of sheep near this mill, it's going to pay off for a long time. We'll keep it supervised, and yeah, we'll put it within the influence of the Imperial Academy. Really like this. I don't think there should be any Chinese game that I go where I don't put the Imperial Academy within range of the mill because we need those bonus uh, taxes it, it's it's the gold that we need to get either important upgrades or make it to the castle age there we go getting up our lumber camp and we we want to stay focused on these boar because we know my opponent is going to try and go for them we could put the barbican down on the uh, boar Although I think I'm going to put it here with this gold and um, berries. But I recall I recall not being happy with that placement because my opponent, um, kind of a spoilers here, he does go for this boar. I think it would have been in my interest to put maybe the Barbican right here or maybe here, draw the boar closer to it, just use it to uh, protect my villagers while they gather from the boar but instead I'm gonna go here it's a much safer option oh here come his scouts we're fortunate that he didn't produce any maybe archers right away or something because you can see these villagers are getting harassed as they're putting down the barbican there's the wooden fortress increasing the uh the food that's re or the uh, wood that's returned to this lumber camp so my opponent's definitely getting a lot of wood oh nice found a wolf up here it's more money being denied to my opponent and now we got the barbican okay so we're now producing villagers faster and we need to decide what my opponent is up to Maybe he's going for a second, uh, or a second town center. Maybe he's going to put down archery ranges and a stables. We need to decide. Or he could just go for a fast castle. We're not sure. We have to keep these scouts active and on the map. And we really have to watch these boar. Still unknown what he's going for. is a very condensed base. This is what... I really recommend to Roost players. You really want to keep your base condensed like that. And then we spot the villagers coming forward, and he's putting down a town center here. And I realize he's going to try and hunt this boar. So my thought was, why don't we pull the boar within range of the Barbican and maybe kill it out here? Ugh. But we can't leash it far enough. We should have probably put the Barbican maybe here. Then it could have secured this wood, this food, and this gold, and the boar. But look, like right when it gets within range of the barbican, it just runs back to uh, it runs back to its general location of where it is. 
And now it's just right next to his town center. So he's gonna hunt that right away. Yep, there he goes. That was unfortunate. We weren't able to deny the boar, and now my opponent is on uh, another town center. And it's a 2,000 food boar. It's very strong. It's a lot of uh, food economy right there. Yep, he's got it. And killing the boar gives my opponent a good amount of gold. We have been accelerating towards the castle age. We've just been rallying a lot of villagers to food and with the mill and the Imperial Academy affecting the mill. I mean, just look at how much gold is here. With these two, uh, well, really this one Imperial official grabbing up the gold from it. We should be able to make it to the castle age in no time. The question is what we're gonna do in the castle age. Probably try to move some siege equipment to take out this um, town center here. If we could put a uh, trebuchet here and start to take out the uh, town center, that'd be really cool. I'd really like to see that. Well, opponent might lose his scout here. Yep. Unfortunate. And now I've decided to supervise the wood here. Not sure about this. I'm trying to remember why I'm supervising the wood in particular. Because now we make it up to the castle age. Yep, we're going to send some villagers to start on it. Maybe I'm thinking I need the extra wood to build the trebuchet. And we do need some more unit production. Right now we just have an archery range. We need to keep scouting our opponent so that we know what other military structures we should produce. So glad to see this scout is maybe moving in. But yeah, we need to get scouts running through here. Try and look for this space between the town centers. But it's too late. Turns out he has a stables. He's produced early knights. Rus are, are liable to make these units. I mean, they're... They're pretty strong. They got a lot of armor. The uh, gunpowder turret on this town center is great, though. Doing great work there. Good. We get the barracks. Now we're producing spearmen. Looks like we're supervising the barracks because we know that we've been just blindsided by these knights. In fact, I still don't see a stables here. Hmm. Okay, spearmen are coming out. And yeah, I would love to see a uh, trebuchet, but it's probably going to be a little bit before we get it. And yeah, we need these spearmen to be guarding these uh, these deer here. Because we've pivoted away from our initial mill. Oh, we haven't gotten wheelbarrow. We really need to get wheelbarrow. Could probably research it here since this one is being supervised. Almost got enough for the trebuchet. Hopefully that's a priority right now. Yep, okay, good, it is a priority. We need to keep making spearmen. Those uh, those knights, yep, they're still out there. They're clogging up the uh, paths for my villagers to retreat, although that gunpowder turret. Oof, it does great damage. I would love to see another uh, outpost like right here. Good. Still have spearmen there. We should just be rallying up to the front here because we need to protect this um, this trebuchet. We could probably get a, a nest of bees out soon enough as well. Villager production is continuing. We're on like 1.3 town centers. He's on two. So we're kind of losing the economic battle here. Would love to get this outpost up. Sending three villagers for, oh, he spots it, unfortunately. Oh, these are such injured villagers too. They're all gonna go down. That's so painful. That's another three villagers. We've probably lost four or five at this point. Good, get the veterancy upgrade for our spearmen. They're looking really strong now. But now we probably need to get a nest of bees out. Would love to see this clock tower nest of bees produced. Because I just know my opponent's making archers. Yep, there they are. He's coming for the trebuchet. Spearmen are trying to get in there, but... Oh, that was so much damage. And I need these villagers to start repairing the trebuchet. Meanwhile, my spearmen are just dying to his archers. Although the Barbican is taking shots. 
And yeah, we'll start stabbing down the uh, the battering ram. We bring the spearmen who were down here up to the battle. But yeah, we need that nest of bees. If the nest of bees was here, we could be getting shots on the uh, these archers. We've got the battering ram down to about half health. Glad to see the uh, barracks is still pumping uh, spearmen, but really we have all this gold to spare. Is that the nest of bees? Okay, now we've got nest of bees coming out. Good. Trebuchet should get back to work. This whole time that this conflict's going on, we need to be doing damage to the town center and we need to get an outpost up over here. Oh, where is that nest of bees? We need it here yesterday. Oh, it takes forever to produce. Maybe we were population blocked? Good, the trebuchet's working away. The town center's oof, only a few more hits. But here come the knights again. A lot of them are really injured. Oh, that's unfortunate. We really needed that to be alive. Probably should have wedged it in here. Gotten maybe an outpost here. Now my pressure is completely gone. I feel like I might have to GG at this point because we're just not doing anything. The knights are only growing in number. We've got a ton of excess gold, which I was hoping, I mean, with a little bit more lumber, we could uh, produce more uh, siege units, like uh, spring alds, something. I decided to call it right there. Good play from my roost opponent. I should have anticipated the uh, archers a bit more. And I liked the trebuchet play, but we need to protect it with uh, outposts. Anyway, catch you for the next one.